Hi, welcome to Lunologic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a weekly reading for Tauruses. You got Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. If a story uh, doesn't fit, don't try to make it. Um, don't forget to check your other placements as well. Please keep in mind that everything is subject to free will. Your free will and anyone you are energetically connected to is free will, <clears throat> as well as the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Cross watchers, um, you might have the reverse rules as I will be reading it from Taurus's perspective. Okay, what's going on for you guys this week, Taurus's spirit? What's going on for my Taurus's this week you know, in June 2021? What's going on for Taurus's, please? From Taurus. Okay, you have the Five of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Scorpio. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, there you are, showing up your own reading. Look at you. Page of Wands or Name of Wands here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Okay. There is some news coming in about another lover. Either you have another lover or your person does. But there is a choice here. Ooh, there's the Ace of Swords behind that. And then the Eight of Pentacles. Someone might have another lover at work. Someone definitely has a choice between two. One may have blonde hair. One may have red hair. But there has to be something that has to be cut out. And it, this might be a love at work. Someone has a choice between two. You or them. But someone isn't sorry about it. Someone's, someone, someone wants to move on from that. Someone isn't sorry about it either. Someone wants forgiveness from you. They're going to be communicating this with you. This could be a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Someone... Or you might be asking for forgiveness from someone. There is communication to another lover that you have to make a choice here. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay, what is the choice then? All right, let's see. Show me the Five of Cups, please. Why is this here for my Tauruses? Why is this here? Five of Cups reverse, please. Spirit. Thank you. You have the Empress reverse. The Empress Reverse is someone who isn't grounded, who isn't stable. Um, this is someone who um, doesn't stand on her own. This is someone who's also very spiteful. The reason why there's no sorrow or there's no forgiveness or wanting to get forgiveness for being spiteful. This is Taurus and Libra card. Also, moving on from depending on anyone else for financial gain here. This could be a same-sex relationship. doesn't have to be. Or you could also be wanting to move on from a marriage if you are, in fact, married. You could be waiting for somebody at a distance from you with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy. Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please. Why is she here? Okay, these two came out. So, you're holding on to a rigid mindset you are not open to, you're being very Torian. You're being very, very, very stubborn. Seven of Swords Reverse. Yep. And because of your stubbornness and too much emotional, financial, or physical dependence on somebody. Or, you know, because again, like I said, this is you. Because of the rigid mindset here, someone's getting caught in the act of lying or cheating here. Straight up. Someone's getting caught. This also can be an affair because there is lovers here. Show me the Knave of Wands or the Page of Wands, please. Someone's going to be communicating. Hangman Reverse. Someone's a traitor. Oh, man. Someone is incredibly selfish as well. Someone might be doing something against you this week. Um, a lover may be turning against you this week. Um, I feel like if you are, let's say you are in a committed relationship, okay? Like you're married or you've been in a long-term relationship, 
Well, you are, now this could be you or this could be your person, but somebody here, and I get it, this is you, you showed up in your own reading, you are, because of your rigidness and your inability to see things from a different perspective here, this is the same thing, same card here, and you not making a choice, you got a choice here, and with the lovers, you're getting caught being a traitor, or you're going to call somebody a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a traitor for telling you, for telling the truth about you someone is going to be spilling the beans to somebody else that you don't want them to be uh you don't want them to speak to someone's gonna be telling the truth about you this week um at least from their perspective about what you what you've been doing I, if you've had a third party if you've had another lover outside of a primary connection if it's you then the person that you've been talking to having an affair with or cheating with or whatever the case may be is going to be ratting you out there's the traitor. The traitor is truth. Someone's speaking the truth about a traitor. Or they're speaking the truth and you're calling them a traitor. Or you are betraying truth. You're a traitor to truth. Someone is also incredibly selfish. Now, this does not have to be you. This could be someone you're dealing with. But, again, I have it as you. Unless you're dealing with another earth sign. Okay? Like yourself. Another Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn then this is, in fact, you. So take it as it resonates. Um, okay, let's see. Tell me, show me the Empress Reverse then. Please, Spirit, show me the Empress Reverse. The Hermit Reverse, not, not learning your lesson, Virgo energy, repeating the same mistakes of the past, um, not, not speaking in truth, not being truthful with yourself or others, a lot of being in denial. Show me the Four of Cups, please. Or I also almost get like not wanting forgiveness, but then wanting forgiveness at the same time. Show me four of cups, please. Why is this here? You have the five of cups. Oh, now it's in the upright. So you're going to regret having a rigid uh, mindset about something. You're going to regret it. There's a regret here. Five of cups now. You were wanting to move on from a committed relationship, but you were in denial. You weren't seeing the truth. You were repeating mistakes of the past. You're basically trying to run away or escapism. And because of your rigid stance and, you know, Taurus women can be very strong-willed, but very determined, very loving, very um, beautiful, sensual, happy, strong people. Um, but they do like to be um, catered to, though, and can be very heavily stubborn. So you're not looking at your form of stubbornness here. It's going to cost you. You're going to end up regretting it. You're going to be end up repeating the same mistakes in the, of the past. So, um, also, a Virgo could be regretting you right now. Show me the t uh, Seven of Swords reverse, please. The Devil. You're going to regret um, some form of toxicity here or toxic communication. Um, also, I get sex. Okay, I'm also here. You're going to regret playing with the Devil. Hmm. You got a lot of majors. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Whoop. Yep. Okay. Show me the hangman reverse. Show me the hangman reverse. Again, Pisces energy. Now you have the hierophant. That is your card. Oh man. So I'm sorry, Taurus, but I gotta call you out. I've gotta call you out. So, you basically are getting caught being a, being fucked up. Being a fucked up person. Or not being a fucked up person, but doing some fucked up shit in your connection. You're being literally called out. You played with the devil. You're, you're, because of your stubbornness and unwillingness to learn your lesson from the past. To stand in your own truth and power. Talk about moving on all the time. Not conquering your addiction or codependencies or obsessions. Um, okay? Being a uh, lying as well, you're getting caught being a traitor. The truth has now been spoken, the truth will be revealed. Um, you're a traitor to your to your to your contracts, to your marriage. You're being called out by the divine. You have more than one choice as well. Show me the ace of swords, and you've been lying about it this whole time. The full reverse, Innocent Aries. Damn. And the moon card in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Shit. Look. Listen. Three of Swords behind that. 
Damn. Look. Look. You are literally being exposed. You were care the truth is that you were very careless with someone else's heart. You played a foolish game, so you win foolish prizes. Play stupid games, games, you get stupid, you win stupid prizes. Which is not really a prize, it's the fact that the truth is going to be revealed about you for being a traitor and being super careless and reckless here. Um, don't give, not giving a fuck about your connection at all. Playing a fool, be, making other people a fool. You play too damn much, okay? Way too damn much. Secrets are now being revealed about betrayal that you've done. I wish I could say it's somebody else. Unless you're dealing with another Earth sign. Capricorn, a Virgo, another Taurus. Then it's you. And you could be dealing with an Aries, a Gemini, another Taurus, a Devil, uh, the Capricorn, a, a Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer. Libra. Yeah, you're getting called out by the Divine. Damn. All right. Damn. Okay. Any guidance, please, for Tauruses regarding this reading? Damn. You're going to regret playing games. Did I? Is this right? Okay. No, they're saying no. Okay. All right. So what guidance do you have, please, for my Tauruses? Okay, you have liberation for yourself. Okay, anything else please for my, okay. Fear gun, become a loving mirror. Okay, so we're going to read those. Bottom of the deck we have Naz, feel loved and proud. Okay, so let's see, where's the book? Okay, so number 13, liberation. So, all right. One second, please. <clears throat> okay. Liberation. Liberation is the codependency card. It's time to liberate yourself. It's time to liberate yourself from toxic people who might have been soft and seductive in life once, but are now smothering you. The girl of liberation was once seduced by the soft embrace of the swan. But now its deathly gaze signifies all life is gone and she is trapped by its snake-like coils crushing her essence. <clears throat> it's time to unwind the, the tentacles. Wrapped around you, be they those of lovers, family members, any people who with intimate access to you recognize who is lifting you and who is pulling you down. The tentacles might also be that of a job or learning environment. It is time to move on when liberation appears. In a situation of codependency, remember you are holding each other back. So although you may feel that you owe it to another to stay and continue, liberation reminds you that it is not only you who is being held back. It is the other person too. Take action and free yourself and them. Oof. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got to make a choice between two. You're betraying yourself, betraying love, truth, and trust because of codependency. You need you need to start making some decisions here. Um, but be careful. You play if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Okay. Uh, I get some gameplay here. So we have fear gun. Become a loving mirror. The simple unselfish joy. See the pi the hangman reverses is, uh, is also very selfish. Okay. Also victim mentality. Um, the simple unselfish joy that comes from knowing something good has happened to someone else fulfills and heals the, ang the angry, self-pitying soul. It's time for emotional unification and appreciation for self and others. When, a, when we delight in the well-being and success of others, we mirror these thoughts as well at, as has been demonstrated and proven in the science of quantum physics. 
we become a part of what we identify and acknowledge. Unconditional appreciation for others. Happiness is liberation. There we go. Liberation. You're, there's, you're jealous of someone else's success as well. Also, you're very successful of someone else's um, connections and truth. Mm. Unconditional appreciation for others. Happiness is liberation. It touches our soul and reverberates through our experiences of life. Like, or someone is jealous of yours. Um, our experience of life, like the delicate ripples across the man's heart. It is time to be brave and put your fear, resentment, jealousy, and anger aside and delight in the joy of others. Trust and know that by this simple contemplation and observation, your own heart is healed and restored. And your life will reflect the joy and success you see around you perfectly and uniquely. Yeah. It's time to take a good hard look in the mirror and face yourself and face your shadows, okay? All right. Well, I hope this has helped you, Taurus. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Um, nevertheless, um, don't forget to hit the, I can't say, the subscribe button and hit all notifications and, uh, so that way you know the next time I upload. And please don't forget to share this video. Uh, video. And as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time. Bye.